hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video i want to show you the latest functionality in mesh morpher uh, subdivide mesh uh, which uh, has been improved it's still experimental but uh, uh, we're allowed uh, to do a lot of cool stuff uh, we can subdivide the a section selection or uh, we can uh, uh, if we make no selection the entire mesh uh, will be subdivided right so let me create a new morph target here and let's see what uh, we're gonna do. So we're gonna subdivide only the teeth and uh, this is uh, the current density for the teeth. We are not a very dense, but uh, we would like to have a very dense uh, teeth section so we can uh, do whatever we want, right? So uh, let's close this and let's go back to subdivision. We open subdivide mesh and we select teeth shader shader and saliva shader shader right so we will pick a subdivision uh, level of two and uh, we want reproject and we want select flat right uh, these are just uh, from the experimental uh, process uh, experimenting process so we're just keeping it here uh, in case uh, we want to test stuff right so just ignore these two we don't need them and uh, what we want to do is we want to reapply morph targets right uh, if we subdivide uh, the vertex order of course uh, gets changed because we get a lot of new vertices and we want uh, to make sure the new morph targets work with our subdivided mesh right so uh, let's press ok this is gonna take a little bit okay uh, uh subdivision is completed and now the engine rebuilds the mesh and we can go ahead and test it out uh we open our morph target to see uh the teeth uh, sections and we can see they're very very dense now right so now we can uh, we can uh, sculpt or do whatever we want to do and be more precise with our sculpting right so this is it for this video guys don't forget subdivide mesh works only with the 5.4 and above uh mesh morpher ha has been updated to support uh, unreal engine uh, 5.4 the release uh, version and yeah this is it guys and see you around bye